Billy Boswell on the guitar and John Gardner. Now you guys uh, are born again Christians, aren't you? Yes. yes, that's true. Yeah. Now could you tell the folks what sort of circumstances made you uh, uh, turn, turn to Jesus, turn to God? Uh, what made me turn to God is uh, my life uh, 20 odd years ago was a complete mess. Uh, I was married, uh, I was completely off my head, I used to do, try to kill my wife, try to kill myself. My head was just all over the place and I got arrested and I came out of the police station and a friend of mine told, started to tell me about Jesus and me being me he said I don't want to know, like, go away, you're off your head on drugs, leave me alone. And he asked me to come and speak to this guy in his caravan about Jesus. So I just went along to keep him quiet, sat down and the guy said to me, what's the one thing you want to know uh, out of life John? Now, all through my life, I didn't know what love was, and I'd never been loved. So I said, I want to know how to love, and I want to know what love is. And this guy started telling me about the love of Jesus, how he died on the cross for me. And if I was the only one on this earth, he would still go to that cross for me. So I give my life to Jesus that day, but I want to thank Jesus for a lot that he's more that he's done in my life. He's put my marriage back together, uh, my wife sitting outside, and we're celebrating 25 years of marriage. That's what Praise the Lord. I wondered so aimless, life filled with sin. And I wouldn't let my dear Savior in. Then Jesus came like a stranger in the night. Praise the Lord, I so Yes, I saw the light. For what it's worth, I'm from the Gypsy Traveller community. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm 31 years old now. And it's, he's laughing, I'm 31 seriously, I look about 91. No, you don't, no, you don't. I, um, I become a Christian, 15th of May 2005. I can remember a lot of things in my life. I can remember getting married, I can remember passing my driving test. I remember my children being born. I won't forget the day when the Lord saved me. You know, I lived a life to please myself. I wouldn't ever say I was, I was a rogue or I was this or I was that. Some people like, people like to try and say there's a, there's a killer or there was. I lived life for myself and I didn't live. I wasn't brought up to go to church. I wasn't brought up to read my Bible. I wasn't brought up to sing songs. I wasn't brought up the name of God wasn't even mentioned in the house. I had a good mum and dad, but any time we go to church, it was at a funeral, wedding, or a christening. During, but during, as I was growing up, people in my family, my mum's brother, my uncle John, become a Christian, got saved. And I thought I went raving, distracted, mad. I thought Christian, Christianity was just for lunatics, people with no friends, people with no social life. But, you know, I started going from my teenage years, getting the keys to a car, and I started living life to please myself, and I've done a lot of things that I wasn't brought up to do. And I was on a path that I didn't convince I was a sinner. But like I say, I met my wife. My wife became a Christian a fortnight before me. And the 15th of May 2005, I was told the gospel of Christ, came, died, bled upon Calvary's cross, was placed in the tomb, rose again on the third day to save me from my sins. And if I just repent and accept in my life, it saved me, and he did. And here we are today, and I could probably gone a long while there, but I could go on for hours yeah. what the Lord's done for me between the, in the last 10 years. Yeah, that's just... I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine, let it shine Let it shine I want to say to put it out I won't let Satan put it out I'm gonna let it shine I won't let Satan put it out I'm gonna let it shine I won't let Satan put it out I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine, let it shine Let it shine okay. uh, My three ministries uh, started in 1998 with myself uh, I went to a prison with a group of guys called Tuttle uh, exit men, powerlifters, amazing guys who turned their lives around. And I got invited back to High Point Prison myself. 
it's a scene and give my testimony and it went from there really. Uh, the ministry's grown through the years. Uh, we regularly do now, I suppose, 15 to 20 different prisons a year. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been up as far as Deerbolt, up in uh, Darlington Way. Uh, we've also been asked to go over to Ireland and do a prison over there this year, which me and Bill are quite excited about. Uh, that was through my mentor, Graham Seed, uh, is another Christian guy who uh, helps me a lot and uh, gives me advice on the ministry. But we've seen so many inmates get saved, not just inmates yeah. come to Christ, we've seen prison officers come to Christ. Yeah. And in one meeting, uh, it was a government inspector was in the meeting, inspecting the prison, came to the meeting, the, the service that me and the guys were taking, and ended up becoming a Christian and came back the next time we were there to tell us. We do one-to-ones, I mainly do them during the week my wife as well. Uh, but we, we go mainly go in uh, and take services for the chaplains and just take the services, Bill leads the worship, we go in there and give our testimonies. Yeah. Uh, there's another couple of guys who are with us who are not here today. But uh, it's mainly we go in and take the services for the chaplains. Yeah. And a lot of the guys end up inviting us back. Medway Security, is, uh, as I was saying, it's a brand new prison we just started doing. and my heart really goes out to the, the youngsters in there because it's they are kids. they are kids. kids. They're just yeah. young kids, not even youth. Boys and girls, kids. With boys kids. and girls, and we started doing a lot of work with them in there, and it's it's going well. We're seeing a lot of youngsters committing to Christ, youngsters in 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 this one prison being baptised, which is just amazing. God is moving in the prisons, big time. Excellent. It's the old man is dead. friend of mine came down for a while he asked me what I've been doing where I've been what's on my mind tell him I drinking I'm not painting so town red because I gave my life to Jesus now the old man is dead man Still wear the same old clothes Got the same old name But you're looking On the outside If you can see inside instead You'd see Can relate to this bit. I used to live such a sinful life. Had no hope inside. I was lost in darkness, searching for a light. Then one night in a church After hearing what the preacher said I gave my life to Jesus Now the old man is dead Man I 
I still wear the same old clothes. I've got the same old name. But you're looking on the outside. If you can see inside instead, you can see a brand new man. The old man is dead. That's wonderful. Uh, Danny was a young lad. I had the privilege to lead to the law. Danny found out on, uh, when he got released early on tape that he only lived five miles away from where I went to church. And he came and found me and I started getting on really well with him and I was giving up my time to go and spend time with Danny because he was on tag so he had to miss a lot of the meetings. And one day my wife had been praying and uh, she said, I feel I've got to come with you today. And my wife came with me to Danny's house. Now. I knocked the door and Danny's mum was there. She was off work, she wasn't very well. And while I was upstairs with Danny, uh, reading the Bible, teaching him and praying with him, my wife was downstairs talking to Danny's mum. Now Danny's one prayer at, uh, all the time was for his mum to know Jesus. And when me and Danny had finished, we came downstairs and Danny's mum was on her knees crying. And she said, oh, Lisa's just led me to the Lord, Danny. I found Jesus. And that young boy was like he'd won the lottery. Yeah. Yeah, but two weeks later, that, that young boy had a motorbike accident and died and snapped the spinal cord in his neck. And uh, me and the guys had to sing this song at his funeral, which is one of the hardest things we've had to do. And uh, we're going to play it in a minute. Billy, Bill's going to play it on the guitar and sing it. But uh, You're going to sing it. I'm going to sing it with <laughs> In the wilderness, but now I'm found. Cause Jesus love turn me around, turn me around from Satan's glee, so I can live with for eternity. Eternal love from on higher, it's the love that I desire, desire to serve Him well, to save people from Satan's hell. Satan is the king of all evil, using his lies to deceive you. But there is one on higher, Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Lost in the wilderness and now I'm found. Lost in the wilderness and now I'm found. Lost in the wilderness and now I'm found. Jesus loved me, turned me around. Lost in the wilderness and now I'm found. Lost in the wilderness and now I'm found. Lost in the wilderness and now I'm found. Jesus loved me, turned me around. Jesus, Jesus, the Messiah, the greatest love from on high, higher than any mountain top, deeper than any sea. I have, I have Jesus' love flowing through me. It's flowing through my heart. It's flowing through my soul. I know it's the love I would never let go. When I was in the well, I thought I had it all. Drinking and fighting, then one day found a new life. Serving my Lord Jesus Christ took me out of that pit called hell and out of my prison. Now I know what I was missing in my life, the one and only Jesus Christ. Here we go. Lost in the wilderness and now I'm found. Lost in the wilderness and now I'm found. Lost in the wilderness and now I'm found. Jesus love it turned me around. Lost in the wilderness and now I'm found. Lost in the wilderness and now I'm found. Lost in the wilderness and now I'm found. Jesus love it turned me around. 